Yo, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell. And this week, this man is all about my undying love cake. What is that, you ask? Well, we're gonna build a chic three-tiered cake and then we're gonna zombify it. You guys ready for this? Zombie noise! Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna start by breaking down an eight inch round red velvet cake. Does it look like chocolate to you? It's red velvet. Well, we had to do red velvet because we're gonna be throwing blood all over this thing. Yeah. Edible blood. Blood is technically edible. Ooh, that's gross, Brent. Have you been punched in the mouth a lot? <laughs> By the way, if you guys want any of the recipes or supplies you see in the show, click the eye above me or you can get it in the description box below. All right, clean up my crumbs here and then we'll fill this guy with cream cheese buttercream. I'm gonna let this set up in the cooler for a few minutes, then we'll do the crumb coat and the final coat. I'm covering this cake in Swiss meringue buttercream because we're gonna put fondant over it and I don't want the cream cheese to melt the fondant. All right, now we're gonna cover the cake with a white fondant. I'm gonna roll this with cornstarch to an eighth of an inch thickness. Ready? Whoosh. Now that our cake is covered in fondant, I'm gonna do some texture with this fun little wave tool. And we're just gonna actually run it along the fondant and make waves. I just realized I'm not gonna be able to make it to the bottom. I got the solution. Yes. Boom. Get out of here. I've been doing this for a long time, Brandon. No, it totally works. <laughs> Cake hack. Now I'm actually just gonna take and deepen the lines a little bit with a dressing tool. All right, for the texture on the top tier, I'm gonna use a dressing tool and then I'm also gonna use this little stitchy tool. And I'm just gonna go back and forth, up and down. Um, so I get this sort of cool pleated look. Okay, for the bottom tier, I'm gonna cut out some hand texture. It's kind of like exaggerated crocodile skin, but I gotta get myself level. So I'm gonna start at the top making these little, almost like squares, but rounded off edges. I'm gonna do one beside it. I'm gonna make some gum paste roses and leaves to go on our cake. So I'm gonna roll out some purple gum paste to start with a little cornstarch. So we're gonna wrap our rose around this little cone. So I'm gonna start with a bud made out of this round cutter. So we'll cut this out first. And then we'll cut these guys out, just one of these. Boom. Now we're gonna soften the edges with a ball tool and a foam pad. This is for our bud. And then I'll do the same thing with these guys. These are all individual petals. So then we'll take a little bit of piping gel, spread on our cone, and then we'll wrap our bud around. And then the way this guy works is that I'm gonna paint piping gel down the middle and then we fold it in half. And then we have lots of petals. And then we'll paint piping gel down the bottom side. This is the magic right here. Then we just roll it up and I'll taper everything to the bottom. And then we'll come back and open this guy up. Boom, quickest rose ever. I'm gonna roll out my green gum paste and cut my leaves by hand. Um, I wanna make sure that they're a little bit smaller than this. This is the veiner we're gonna use, so it needs to fit inside of here. A Little bit of cornstarch, got a leafy green color, and then I'm gonna cut them with an X-Acto knife. And before I vein it, I'm gonna soften the edge just a little thick with the same ball tool we use for the roses. We'll put them in the bottom part here and vein it. Look at that guy. He's awesome. Look at the back. So, so I'm gonna let them dry over a form here. You could use crumpled up foil as well, just so it has a little bit of life. 
The last thing we need to do before we put our cake together is dust our flowers. So I've got three different colors of purple here. I'm gonna dust one with a little two-toned kind of look, and then the other one I'm gonna dust solid purple. So I'm gonna start with this sort of medium color and go deep in here, create a couple of shadows for us. Give the flower a little life. Gotta give it life before we kill it, right? That's how zombies were alive at one point. You don't just, you're not just born a zombie. Do zombies have babies? Wow. All right, I'm gonna mix a little bit of this more pinky color. All right, so there's our two-toned kind of flower there, and then I'm gonna do one that's completely covered in this nice violet color. Plus, I think that these, uh, this dark sort of purple looks a little creepy. All right, flowers are dusted. Now it's time to put our cake together. I'm gonna add a buttercream border to this cake. I normally would use royal icing, but when I go to zombify this, I wanna be able to cut through the piping, and the royal will dry hard. But the buttercream will stay soft so I can cut through it. Now it's time to decorate our cake with our gum paste flowers, our leaves, and our little topper of these two people dancing. So I'm gonna do my flowers here in safety seal. Boom. This cake is chic and beautiful, but they don't look like they have undying love. They have undying love. Very good friend of mine sent me her topper. I actually was the one who made her wedding cake, and this was what went on top, but it was all zombified. So now we're gonna use some mirror glazed blood to really make this thing come to life. <laughs> to make the blood, I'm gonna use clear mirror glaze and a little bit of red food coloring. This is a gel color. Oh, it even made a creepy noise. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I called this blood. Please blood. I'm gonna use a lot. Well, the first time I made this wedding cake was for my friend who gave me this topper, and her whole wedding was really shabby chic and sort of sweet, but she does this haunted uh, like zombie ride every year in North Georgia, and so the one thing she wanted for her wedding that emulated that was the cake. But let me tell you how embarrassing it was to walk up to a shabby chic wedding with a bloody cake in front of her parents and her grandparents. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is make my nail marks down the front. That's like the most dramatic part of this. I'm gonna do that with an X-Acto knife. If I were to actually scratch this cake, there we go. All right, now we're gonna open up our cuts here. The last thing we need is a little bit of splatter with some airbrush food coloring. Now this is scary good. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Man About Cake. If you want any of the recipes or supplies, click at the eye at the top or get them in the description box below. Please like the video, leave me a comment, tell me what you guys want in future episodes and subscribe to the channel. Let's eat her. Mmm, my love for this cake will never die. <laughs>